So you want a camera to check out the inside of your home while you're away, but you don't want to set up any extra cloud accounts or worry about the privacy of your recordings. And then the Eve Cam is a great option. On the other hand, since it was released in 2020, the industry has advanced a little bit, and I want to point out some of the smaller details that Eve Cam doesn't have. But all things considered, does the Eve Cam still live up to its $150 price tag? I'm Eric Wielander, welcome to my channel. Now, I think the Eve Cam is worth $150 for the right person, but let's talk about the details. If you're not familiar with Eve, they're a company that makes quality products for your Apple smart home and soon for the Matter standard as well. And they like to keep things very simple. Like you don't need to set up another account and save your smart home details with yet another web service when you're using their devices in your Apple HomeKit smart home. In fact, like most HomeKit cameras, you can set up the Eve Cam just using Apple's Home app and never have the Eve app installed. But there are some cool features you get with Eve's app. I should clarify that while this video is not sponsored, Eve sent me this Eve Cam to check out and share my honest opinions. And they've also been a sponsor of other videos on this channel. When thinking about where you might want to put Eve Cam, keep in mind that it's meant to be plugged in all the time. To do this, it comes with a micro USB cable and power adapter in the box. USB-C would be much better here, but once you set up the camera, you probably aren't going to be dealing with the plug much. EveCam is meant for indoors, but you can, of course, point it through a window to look outside. And if you're looking for a camera to live outdoors, I recently reviewed Eve's Outdoor Cam. EveCam has a built-in stand, but the camera also comes with a magnetic wall mount and screw if you prefer to put it on the wall like I did. The camera has 150 degree field of view and it records video at 1080p resolution and has night vision up to 15 feet away. But one of the more important specs here is that it has a built-in infrared motion sensor. Almost any camera in Apple's home app can be used as a motion sensor to trigger lights, but many of them use the camera image to detect the motion instead of a separate sensor. As you might guess, a dedicated sensor is faster and more sensitive in the dark. This gets to a cool feature of cameras like the Eve Cam that support Apple's HomeKit Secure video standard. You can, of course, have the Eve Cam record any amount of video clips and and detection of things like people for these clips can be done locally in your home by your home pods or apple tv or other apple home hubs but when you're home you might not want the camera on at all for this you can choose a mode in homekit secure video called detect activity this means you can use the camera as a motion sensor to turn on your lights but you can't view any images off the camera and it's not trying to record any new clips then when you leave home, it can automatically switch to recording clips of activity. Now that brings me to a major downside with Eve Cam, and that's that it only stores video clips in HomeKit Secure Video in iCloud, so it doesn't support continuous non-stop video recording. You can do this with certain other indoor cameras that also support HomeKit, but not Eve Cam. There's no way to say record a buffer of continuous video recording to a memory card on the camera like uh, Eufy has with some of their much less expensive models. And while you can ask HomeKit Secure video clips to be recorded without audio, anyone who has access to your home app can still listen to what's happening from the camera if it's in a mode other than detect activity or off. Certain other cameras, like those from my Ubiquity system, have a way to disable the mic at a firmware level, where then you have to physically go to the camera and reset it to factory settings to turn the mic back on. For an indoor camera, this kind of lack of audio recording can add a nice peace of mind, and that's just not there with the Eve Cam. I would love to see Eve add a feature like this in their app in the future if possible. Speaking of peace of mind, Eve has thought about the privacy a lot, and you can get close clarity of what the camera is doing with the status light on the front. When the light is off, streaming and recording are disabled and there's no way someone can be streaming or recording video on the camera. If the light is blue, it means that streaming is enabled and someone with proper access to your Apple smart home could theoretically be streaming the video and the audio from the camera. If the light is red, it means a clip is being recorded. Another privacy feature Eve Cam lacks is a complete physical block of the camera lens. 
Well, I trust Eve and their software and hardware. Other camera companies like Arlo have released cameras with physical shutters in front of the camera lens that close and make it crystal clear to everyone that the camera is not recording. But how does EveCam stack up to its biggest competitor, the Logitech Circle View? Logitech is another company known for making great products for the Apple ecosystem. The Circle View, not to be confused with the Circle View doorbell, is only 10 to $30 more than the EveCam. It can go inside or outside and has 180 degree field of view instead of 150, AKA it looks more like you're looking through a bubble but you can see more stuff. But in my experience and from what I've heard from others, the Logitech Circle View does not stay connected to Wi-Fi as reliably. My Logitech Circle View camera after about a year of use started to drop frequently from my network to the point where I removed it from my home. I have a neighbor who has an Eve cam working reliably for over a year and recently tried a new Logitech Circle View camera and had the same connectivity issues that I did. Despite the slightly worse specs on paper, I find the Eve cam to be more reliable in practice. But like all things smart home, your mileage may vary. If you're looking for an Apple-esque privacy first HomeKit secure video camera for your home, I think the Eve cam is a great option. And if you wanna check out options for outside, watch my recent review of the Eve outdoor cam. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.